Today, I was ordained, and I was ordained into the Methodist Church. I was surrounded by family, friends, and well-wishers. And the Bible presented to me on that day is this Bible. It contains in it, right at the front here, the only official document attesting to my ordination as a presbyter in the Methodist Church. 27th of June, 2010. And I remember in that service the physical sensation of hands being placed upon me as the words were read out in the ordination service. Father, send the Holy Spirit upon Mike for the office and the work of a presbyter in your church. It was a great occasion. And sometimes I can tell you I've really felt the weight of the responsibility in ministry. Other times I have felt the enormous support that comes from the body of Christ. And I was talking about this with Reverend Chris Stark, who reminded me, did you know that it was 59 years ago that he too was ordained? And also Deacon Janet Durbin, known as Sister Janet, she tells me that she too was ordained on this very same day 30 years ago. And of course, Deacon Roland Wilkinson, he too was ordained 28 years ago in 1992, this weekend. I'm privileged to be surrounded by God's people, God's people who God has called. In the ordination service, there's a text from John's Gospel which is read for presbyters. And it comes from John 20, verses 19 to 29. A week later, his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood amongst them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, put your hands here, see my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. As I look again at these words, I'm drawn to the notion of touching the wounds of Christ, recognising that it is there in the wounds that Christ is found. And it's interesting that in the ordination for deacons, there's a text which we call Jesus washing the feet. A notion of Jesus serving, a notion of humility, bringing care and hospitality. I'm a firm believer in the priesthood of all believers. We are all called to serve one another and to support one another in all that we do. We are held together, St Paul reminds us in his description of the fledgling church as the body of Christ, heads, hands and feet. The body, the experience embodied in the wombs of Christ, who comes to us still despite locked doors. And he comes to free us to new and hope-filled life. So I want to share a prayer with you this morning, a prayer by St Hildegard of Bingham. Let us pray. May it please you, O Lord, to enlighten our hearts. With the fire of your love, we offer hands to do your work, lips to sing your praise, our lives to proclaim your glory. Look upon our neighbours in their needs, guide us and bless us, as we serve you in them, for Jesus' sake. Amen. In 
the morning when I rise. In the morning when I rise. In the morning when I rise. Give me Jesus.